Good afternoon, once again, members of the Committee of Public Health, Social Development, and Labor, as well as other members of Parliament. Welcome back to this uh, committee meeting where we had the minister uh, receive some questions, actually first did a presentation, then he received some various questions from committee members, then was given some time to return to answer. The minister is now with us, and I give him the floor to answer the questions. Thank you once again, Mr. Chair. Without further ado, I'll dive into the questions. MP Sarah Westcott, is a forensic care included in the plans you presented today? There was a mission in the beginning of this month to address this issue led by the Ministry of Justice in collaboration with the Ministry of Interior and Kingdom Relations and UNOPS. This is currently being discussed on how to further strengthen the aspect of forensic care as it is um, a justice-led initiative. Can the evaluation of 2021 be shared with Parliament? Yes, MP, it will be shared with Parliament. Is there any update on the general health insurance? Is there a timeline for completion on details step taken? There um, have been three work groups established um, pertaining to the general health insurance. One focused on the financial aspects, one focusing on the legislative aspect, and the other on the packages. Biweekly meetings are being held with key stakeholders and updates are given on the progress made. A meeting is scheduled to be held within short to establish um, a timeline. Is there a timeline that can be given on the changes of legislation on all the mental health intervention? A work group has been established comprising of representatives within the kingdom, and the first task is to develop a vision document that has to be ready by December 2022. I move to the question of MP Gums. Where does Turning Point fall in all of this and in the presentation? Turning Point and other mental health stakeholders inclu are included in the presentation. Currently, there is also an agreement with men between mental health and Turning Point in which monthly meetings are held. I move to the question of MP Bijlani. How many professionals are in each category. MP, if you allow me, I'd like to send you and the members of parliament this answer in writing. Number two of MP Bijlani, the eight million approved by NRPB, does it include everything in your vision? The eight million will be used for supporting and strengthening the national mental health system, strengthening mental health governance capacity, providing support for the updating of the mental health financing system related to legislation to address gaps in mental health services delivery, prevention and mental health promotion activities, improving services capacity to deliver quality mental health care, strengthening treatment protocols, referral protocols, and mental health expertise within mental health care chain, and also improving access to mental MHF mental health facility. Can you provide an update on the legislation that would allow students that are from here who are given a hard time? Um, I am working diligently to ensure that the pool from which we are able to source medical professionals are being expanded, and this has my urgent attention. I would also like to say, although we are doing this expansion, we have a responsibility to ensure that the regions in which we select match the quality of standards that is required by the country and the department. MP Bryson, what information do we have in terms of diagnosis of mental health illnesses on St. Martin? At the moment, there are no national statistics, but based on the mental health, because not all psychiatrists work at the Mental Health Foundation, based on the Mental Health Foundation, um, in 2019, 60% of admissions were diagnosed with psychosis. The remaining are mainly mood disorder, like depression and bipolar. Do we have any statistics on how many people have borderline personalities or disorder? The data we have 
on personality disorder is not compiled comprehensively on a national level yet. We are working on this on a general health information system with, um, that will be able to do this in the future. And um, according to the experts, mainly, um, no, borderline disorder is not necessarily inpatient, but it's outpatient care, so it's not necessarily um, that prevalent in mental health, but it's outpatient care. Is there a collaboration between Ministry of Education and VSA regarding the assistance of students in the need of mental health? Yes, most schools have social workers, psychologists, and or guidance counselors. Um, when needed, referrals are made. And also, this goes into the community-based approach that we are working on that will have a more hands-on within not only the families within the community, but the schools. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of Parliament. I look forward to any clarification. Thank you, Minister. Uh, I see there is a need to speak from MP Westcott Williams. You have the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, Minister, for the answers provided. Mr. Chairman, through you to the Minister, um, the activities in terms of work that is currently being done, which of these activities fall under the realm of the country package and the measures in there regarding um, health. So which of you mentioned committees working and um, doing different things? So which part of what is being done falls under the measures of the country package where the overhaul of our medical system in general is concerned, if any? Or is it separate? Is what is being done, the committees, et cetera, separate from the country package. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just that clarification, please. Thank you, uh, MP, MP Gums. You had your hand up? No? Okay. Uh, Minister, you have the floor. Um, thank you. As it relates to the legislative um, aspect pertaining to CASETs and so forth, the legislative change um, is also a part of the country package. Um, that's where we are able to have the technical assistance from the, the Netherlands. Is that clear? MP is, that, Williams? is that all through you, Mr. Chairman? Is that the only link with what is being done in the area of mental health preparation that stems from mm -hmm. the country package? Is my question. Yes, yes ma Madam Chair. At this point, yes, everything. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chair. <laughs> and I look pretty today, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, at this moment, yes. Um, other reforms are based on research and um, carried out by via either PAHO or the ministry um, in which reforms were needed and we are carrying out. And of course, we know the situation with the GHI. Thank you. Uh, MP Westcott Williams? Thank you. That's it? Okay. Uh, MP Bijlani. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you. Honorable Minister, for your answers, just want to clarify the NRPB 8 million, will that be used for any improvement in the facility or a new facility development for MHF? Minister? Yes, sir, correct. It will be used for a new facility, and not only the new facility, but the list of answers that was provided and will be provided to you for more detail for your perusal. You have a timeline on when that might be completed? The, the project? Not, no, not yet? At this moment, no. Okay. Crossing over T's and dotting our I's at this moment. All right. Very good. Um, members of Parliament, are there any other questions uh, for the Honorable Minister within this agenda point? If that is not the case, uh, members of Parliament, do recall that we had one other agenda point that the Minister would be returning for. Um, We've come to the conclusion of this agenda point. So, Minister, I do thank you and your support staff for providing the answers uh, that were requested. Um, like I mentioned, we will be reopening this meeting at a certain point to deal with agenda point one, which was, just for completeness sake, the status of the amendment to the ordinance regulating the short-term contract. So we look forward to, after the recess, having this meeting. With that, members of parliament, I will be adjourning this meeting. Uh, as you know, we will be going into recess, maybe with a possibility that we return. But in the event we do not, I wish you all a pleasant recess. We haven't had a full one in a while. So 
All the best, and Minister, no recess for you. We're back to work. You have a good day.